Hello everyone and welcome. In this video we're going to be talking about rear mounted engines on cars and why you may choose to use a rear mounted engine in a vehicle. Now a rear engine means that the engine is actually located behind the rear drive axle. So what are some of the advantages and disadvantages of a setup like this? First I'm going to talk about overall and then go into rear wheel drive versus all wheel drive. So overall what's good about it? Well, you've got plenty of passenger space. You're keeping that engine outside of the passenger compartment, much like you would be doing with a front-mounted engine, uh, and unlike a mid-mounted engine. So you've got plenty of passenger space. You're not taking up any room there. Acceleration traction is actually really good because you've got the majority of the weight on the driven wheels, uh, the rear wheels, or all the wheels. Um, and in that case, so as you accelerate and you have load transfer to the rear wheels, acceleration is quite good. Also, braking is very good. So under braking, typically the two front wheels are going to be doing most of the work. And when you have this rear mounted engine with kind of a rear weight bias, basically as you have load transfer to the front, you've got a more even distribution of braking between the front and the rear. And so you can have actually really good braking vehicles uh, with these rear mounted engines. Now, what are the downsides? Well, you have a high moment of inertia. You've got all the weight at the rear of the vehicle, and that's going to kind of give it this tendency to not only be uh, less agile with this high moment of inertia um, and not willing to turn, but also it's going to kind of want to spin around um, because of its weight distribution. So because the weight is biased towards the rear, it's going to have a tendency to oversteer uh, and kind of kick out the rear engine since it's heavier and wants to go towards the front. Now this of course can be mitigated through tuning of the suspension, the tires, and the chassis. So, you know, people like Porsche, they figured it out. These cars aren't going to super easily oversteer, but it is kind of a design inherent uh, thing that they have to kind of compensate uh, is the fact that that rear weight bias is going to make it want to oversteer. So let's talk about rear wheel drive uh, using a rear engine. Uh, one of the great things about it is you're going to have a good division of tasks. So, like I was saying earlier, the braking is going to be well distributed between the front and the rear. You've got your front doing the turning, and then you've got the rear doing the accelerating. So you're keeping your loads on your tires even, uh, which overall is going to help with traction. Also, the weight of it is going to be fairly low. So look at this versus something like a uh, front-mounted engine with rear-wheel drive. You've got less components. You know, it's all compact, much like a front-mounted engine front-wheel drive. So all of your items are in one spot. There's not that many of them. This leads to more efficiency, less drivetrain losses, and reduces cost. Also, much like a front-mounted engine with front-wheel drive, on loose surface, because you've got the weight of your engine on top of the driven wheels, your maximum traction, uh, the maximum force that you can apply to the ground is higher, so you're going to be less likely to spin your tires uh, than, say, if you had a front-mounted engine with rear-wheel drive. Now, what are the disadvantages? Well, like I was saying earlier, weight distribution. Uh, when you have all this weight towards the rear, uh, it's going to have a higher tendency to oversteer. So, moving on to all-wheel drive. Now, this is going to offer you the maximum amount of acceleration because you've got all your weight on top of driven wheels and you're going to have a slightly better weight distribution versus rear mounted engine with rear wheel drive because you've got the added weight towards the front. Now that's not necessarily a good thing because added weight isn't a good thing. So the disadvantage is added weight, you've got efficiency losses through the additional drivetrain, and you've got the additional cost of the additional drivetrain, on top of which you know, you're adding this uh, drive axle hump which can interfere with the passenger compartment, so another thing to take into consideration. So if you haven't yet, you may want to check out the other videos I've done on front-mounted engines and mid-mounted engines. And if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave those below. Thanks for watching.